Hi all, welcome to another session on AI Builder. AI Builder is a power platform capability that provides us with AI models to take leverage of artificial intelligence to optimize our business processes. We can either use already existing pre-built models or we can create our own custom models to suit our specific needs. There are already different pre-built models available for use like the business card reader, invoice processing, sentiment analysis, language detection, etc. In this video, we will see how to use the pre-built AI builder model, text recognition to extract text from an image and process it further. As per the official documentation, as we can see, it supports various formats like JPG, PNG, PMP, and PDF, so that uh, we can use these formats of files to extract the data from them using the AI model. And we can see that the output of the AI model is basically parameters like results, texts, and bounding box, which we will see in action in the coming demo. So the business use case that we will be using as part of this demo is that uh, we have a requirement where field police officers would want to capture the number plate image of speeding cars and send it as an attachment in a mail for further processing of their fine views in the backend. So we will be using the text recognition AI model to extract the car number from the image and create a SharePoint list item automatically via Power Automate so that any manual effort for text extraction can be avoided. So as to do the implementation of the backend, we will be using a SharePoint list where we'll have few columns like vehicle number, offense date, and the speeding snap. So we will be trying to extract the data and store the vehicle number within the vehicle number column. So let's get started with building the Power Automate. And we'll use a when a new email arrives trigger to invoke the Power Automate. And the next thing to do is that we will be trying to extract the attachments from the mail so that we can use those extracted images for feeding into the text recognizer AI model. So let's add an apply to each action. And within that, we will so we'll be looping on the attachments. And within that, we will be adding the get attachments action. The message ID will be the ID of the arrived mail. The attachment ID will be the attachment ID of the attachment within the mail. And now the next thing to do is we'll add the recognized text in an image or PDF model to which we will feed the content bytes of the attachment. This way we have uh, given the input to the AI model, which will provide us with the text from the image as the output. Now the next step is to extract the data from the output of the recognized text in an image action. Now, just before we can add that action, let's see like how the output of the AI builder looks like. So we can see that the output actually is embedded within the results array where again you have a lines array and within lines you have the text attribute which contains the extracted text of the number plate of the speeding car. So this is going to be a very static or general way of uh, returning the result from the AI builder model. So what we will do is like we will index into the results array, further index into the lines array and then get the data from the text attribute. So as to do that, what we will do is we will just add an compose action. So we will now try to get, use an expression uh, to get the output of the uh, previous action that is the AI builder model by, I'll just yeah, use a simple hack. I'll just uh, remove this base64 afterward. I'm just trying to get the dynamic content results here so that we can just use to get the outputs. Now to the end, I'll just remove the parenthesis and add the remaining indexing into the array. So we have got the results array. Into that I will get the first item of that results array. And then we will index into the lines subarray, get the first item and get the corresponding value present in the text attribute. And this we will be able to get the extracted data from the number plate image. Now we have completed the compose action. Now the next thing is we will add a create item action. So that we can save the 
extracted image data into SharePoint list on a loop because there can be multiple number plate images in a single mail. So we want to create each item as a separate record or create each uh, number plate image or number plate number as a separate record within SharePoint. So I will just go and select the SharePoint site and the list name and we'll specify the title as the name of the image and the vehicle number will be the output from the compose action. Thus we have completed the creation of the flow. We'll just go ahead and save it and we'll quickly do it testing by sending a set of images, attached images or the snapped number plate images from uh, the mail. So I have like four images of the snapped number plates which I'm going to actually send it across uh, to the email where we have the Power Automate attached. We can see that the Power Automate has been triggered and we can see that there are now four records which corresponds to the four attachments in the mail and we can see that the first action is to get the attachment and then we will be passing that image as an input to the AI model which extracts the data and we can see the output again is coming up within the results array followed by that we have the lines array and within that we have the text attribute that shows the number plate uh, extracted data. So we'll see like how we have uh, used the compose action and we have got the corresponding output as well. And if we actually go to the next record, we can see that it's a different number as well, which is extracted from the separate different image. And within the SharePoint list, we can see that the vehicle number has been saved uh, in the backend. Just we did see like how we can use the text recognition AI builder model to extract the text from an image. Now this becomes very handy when we want to actually use an, such a model in text extraction scenarios and we will come up with more of such scenarios where we will be using AI builder model in the upcoming videos. So thanks all for watching and we will see you soon in another video.